Love News was the only video crew allowed to get close enough to shoot this buckled road, a stretch of highway in northern Arizona. ADOT says Highway 89, about 25 miles south of Page, collapsed early this morning because of a geological event. They say it was not caused by the weather. So what was it that caused the main road from Flagstaff to Page to cave in? Kim Covington spoke to an ASU geologist who's been studying the phenomenon throughout the day and finally has some answers. Kim. That's right. Geologists are calling that massive hole a slide or slump. They agree with ADOT that this happened naturally. It's so huge that ADOT is applying for a natural declaration that will allow them to be reimbursed by the feds. So here's what happened and why scientists fear it could happen again. This looks like something out of one of those end of the world movies that must have felt like that for two drivers on US 89 who were able to turn back around just in time. 12 News reporter Chris Rapsky explains while near the edge of the mammoth hole. You can see an oil stain on the road where the car traveled falling off this cliff and you can only imagine how scary it must have been to feel a road buckle beneath you. Look at how deep and how long, 150 yards long on Echo Cliff. This was not an earthquake, is not a sinkhole. When it does happen, it usually happens without warning, unfortunately. ASU geologist Dr. Stephen Simkin says scientists have been studying this natural phenomenon all day. This is about where it happened today. Water is often a good trigger for these sorts of things, so the fact that it's been raining may have something to do with that. This is what happened naturally on US 89. It's built on a slope that cuts through a bunch of layers of rock made of sand and soft clay. The top edges of the layers crumbled naturally over time. You know, gradually little pieces fall down and then every so often you can get a bigger piece that moves down the slope and we would call that either a slump or a slide. The explanation sounds simple, but the repairs won't be. Could this happen again? Uh, absolutely. Uh, generally, if you have had some kind of sliding activity in the past, then it, it could happen again in the future. I'm sure ADOT is aware of, of this because it is a, it's a natural phenomenon that we see in this part of Arizona, and uh, they would have to take that into account when they're rebuilding the road. Now, if you want to learn more about slides or slumps, earthscope.org and Arizona geology blogspot.com are great areas to visit. Now, ADOT says it will take three months and millions of dollars for geologists and engineers to repair the massive slide or slump. Kim Covington, 12 News.